There are a number of different indoor training platforms, but there is one that if you don't know about, you really should. Ruby has just undergone a huge update, so I'm very excited to try out the Refresh platform, see what features Ruby has, and just generally see what the platform has to offer. First though, I've got to get myself set up. So I've just downloaded the app, I've got all my details in, the account is now set up, and now I'm just gonna run through all of the questions, basically to let Ruby know exactly what type of a rider I am. So first up, how many hours do you normally spend riding in a week? I'm gonna go three to five hours. Next questions, what do you value the most? Improving fitness, racing, enjoying the scenery, you know what? Improving my fitness, that is my key goal at the moment and something that for winter, I think, basically, I just kind of want to maintain. Before auto-connecting, turn on Bluetooth or App Plus, that's already done. Tax Flux, here we are. Let's get you connected. Look at that, it's already getting my RPM, my wattage, my speed, perfect. Now, I am wearing a heart rate sensor as well, so I'm gonna add that as well. Get you connected and there we go, bish bash bosh, we have got a full suite of sensors. Let's start the first ride. Uh, so that's really nice actually, before you get going, um, Ruby gives you an introductory ride to get you learning the basics. This is ideal, it looks like it's quite short as well, so it um, should be fairly easy. What's striking me first though, these graphics are quite impressive. What's really impressive is that it's showing me how to draft, and as I get closer to the rider in front of me, it's giving me a little graphic just to show how, how many watts I'm saving. Up to 50 watts, that's not bad, is it? And you can actually feel it change on the trainer as well. This is awesome. 166 watt FTP. Eesh, I think we can improve upon that very easily. Woo. So we've completed the first ride um, and it's got, I think, a small gauge of how fit I am at the moment. However, it was only a five minute ride. so. Um, I think if I were to do a longer um, FTP test or just something that was kind of more like half hour, 45 minutes, I think it would be a bit more specific in terms of where I'm currently at um, from a fitness point of view. Um, it's one of those things of as a platform like Groovy gets more data, it becomes more and more sophisticated with how it actually performs and the data outputs that it gives you. So, but first things first, I'm actually gonna go in and customize my avatar and make it look a little bit more like me. Now cycle. This fully preset jersey, colour theme. This is the very important stuff. Nice. We've gone dark. Go stealth. One thing that I do really want to experience is what Ruby call real roads. Now, this essentially is putting you very much in the real world of where that particular route is. So as you saw from the first warm-up ride, that was in South Africa, wasn't the south of France, but equally gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is head into all of the routes and then we're gonna see um, what we've got. But there's so many here. Oh, Pacific Coast Highway, that's gonna be beautiful. Let's go there. Explore the west coast of California, beautiful. I think one thing that's really nice about their real routes um, feature in the game is that it doesn't feel like you're riding in a kind of gamified environment all the time. Ruby puts you in the real world. It makes it feel a lot more realistic because you can see where the route goes and then you can kind of act accordingly. What I'm really liking is just the fact that it's a bit more immersive and it's a bit more relatable because you kind of just lose yourself in the roads that um, you're riding on and if you've been lucky enough to go to any of these locations that are on Ruby, um, it's almost like revisiting or you know riding on roads that you might have even done before. Right I'm gonna pause there because I kind of want to see what else Ruby has to offer um, because we've got the Pacific Coast Highway that's all well and good but with over 1300 routes you've basically got everything you can imagine so whether you want something that's really flat or you wanted to go somewhere that's really hilly like uh, the Alps, you've got all of those different options. That is, and actually you can filter them, you can sort them by the name, by the distance, by the duration, the riders, the max gradient. So it's actually really easy to find the types of riding that you want to do. Ruby is a sponsor of the Vuelta, um, so you've got all of the different stages from the Vuelta. Um, or sections of. So you've basically got everything you can imagine, um, which is pretty cool. One thing I do want to explore though are actually the workout and the training plans, because um, that's something that um, I do love is a bit of structured training. So we're going to head down to the bottom here, 
go to the workouts and here you go so you've got andy schleck's plan you've got a whole bunch of other ones and here you go four weeks um, for three hours a week and that kind of matches up to the kind of amount of riding that i can realistically fit in around my kind of work schedule and life and then you've just got all of the different workouts themselves so we're going to do a little pyramid workout um, i do enjoy those weirdly let's start that workout and oh we're going to be doing it in Lake Garda in Italy. So let's start that workout. See now on the workout screen, the whole interface changes. So you can see what efforts are coming up. You can see the entire session and then you can really clearly see your RPM, your wattage and your heart rate. So you know exactly how hard you're gonna be going. It kind of just gives you all the information that you need. So at the top of the screen, you can see what your target wattage is, which at the moment is 100 watts. So it's, a, it's easing me into it pretty nicely, actually. Um, and I've just got to kind of keep spinning my legs. I've got a good feeling in my legs at the moment and I'm already fairly warm. Um, but as you can see down on the bottom of the screen, the dot tracks your wattage output. And what you want to be doing is keeping that dot exactly where it needs to be in terms of the line. So keeping it around there will keep you at the effort level that you need to be at. And then obviously as it gets harder, you just need to push a little bit harder to move that dot further up the screen. So I completed the first block of 100 watts, now stepping up to 120 watts. So small increase, but that's okay. And like I said before, just got to keep that dot on the line. Easy. I think riding on Ruby has just kind of made me realize that I don't actually like riding in a gamified environment. And this is actually just a little bit more immersive. That was a good workout. And actually, looking at the power that I put out over the course of the workout, I think I stuck to that pyramid session pretty well, personally. Um, I am, but now very sweaty. And I do think that maybe I need to adjust my FTP on, um, on Ruby just so it um, lines up with um, what my actual level of fitness is at the moment. Obviously, at the moment, at this very early stage, it's working with very little data. Now, Ruby isn't all about the real roads and the workout sessions. There's a whole lot more to it than that. You do have a lot of challenges. Um, so you can go and earn yourself a load of badges. Um, so I think I might actually sign myself up to a couple of challenges. Um, I'm quite liking the look of the September climbing challenge. So I'm gonna join that one. Although there'll probably be an October climbing challenge. Um, and then also, this is the other thing as well, there's a whole load of events on Ruvi as well. So you can join races and you can ride with your mates and you can build a bit of a community on Ruvi as well. So um, if you can't meet your mates in real life, meet them on Ruvi instead. So I think my first experience with Ruvi has been a really, really positive one. The one thing that I've been most impressed by are those real roads. For me, they're actually just far more immersive than I thought they would be. Comparing it to like a gamified environment, this for me actually just felt a lot easier to be absorbed into. Because you had like cars on the road and you had people walking around, it was like you were riding in the real world. Um, and that for me, I think actually was just really enjoyable and it made it so much more more like real riding, um, which for me on indoor training is kind of what I'm after. The best thing about the platform is the fact is you've got a whole bunch of different terrains that vary across a whole bunch of different gradients. You've got the challenges, you've got the group rides, you've got the special events, and then obviously the whole platform is completely customizable with the bikes, the riders, the avatars, and the fact that you can ride with your mates, I think just brings it all together to make a really cohesive full package. So that's everything that you need to know to get started on Ruby. If you want to get signed up, then there is a link down in the description below and you can get yourself 14 days for free. If you enjoyed the video, then please do drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I will see you again very soon.